you are watching a replay of my live walkthrough of the 2022 Los Angeles International Auto Show featuring the Toyota display. I don't have a whole lot of time to walk through the entire display, the entire show right now, so I'm focusing on Toyota. So I would love to show you what they have to offer at the Los Angeles Auto Show this year. It is a massive, massive display. So first, I want to show you the all new redesigned 2023 Toyota Prius. So let me flip the camera, get situated here. Alrighty, that is our Prius Prime. And yes, feel free to comment. Hi, thank you so much for being with me here. Okay, take a look at the brand new redesign of the fifth generation of the Toyota Prius. Now the Toyota Prius is a late release. It is going to be on sale starting in January of 2023. So even though we're just debuting it now, we're going to see it in a month. It has an all new body style, a new engine. It has a new lithium ion battery. It's more efficient, it's lighter, it's more sleek, it's more stylish. And dare I say, it's actually kind of sexy, right? What do you guys think? Do you like the new Prius? Overwhelmingly, the overall attitude about the new Prius has been very positive. It seems as if all of the Automotive journalists are saying really favorable things about it, and it's great. Uh, we don't have price point yet, but we're saying that it will average up to 57 miles per gallon, and it comes with a lot of great connectivity and safety features. All right, let's move on. Thank you for your likes, everyone. That is the RAV4 Prime, the plug-in RAV4. I'll get to that in a moment. And... Sorry, the gimbal is a little wonky today. All right, so let's take a look at the new Prius Prime. So you'll notice that the Prius Prime and the Prius have the same body style, whereas in the previous generations, they were different. But now you can see this one's the Prius Prime and the Prius is up there. So the Prius Prime, they haven't announced the all electric driving range yet, uh, but they do say it's a 50% increase on the previous generation and we're hoping it's going to be about 40 miles on the ev range all right so let's move back to this rav4 prime looking good this is going to be a talking car activation so this is a fun toyota feature at a lot of toyota auto show displays uh you get inside the vehicle and the vehicle comes alive it's like you can talk to it and ask it questions oh you like the new prius yay good and for reference here are the 2022 prius models so the white one is the 2022 prius the gray one is the 2022 prius prime so eh, kind of boring kind of slow but bam now we got this bad boy to look at so very excited about the all new Prius design. Now let's check out more of the Toyota display. Now, this is a really unique color for the RAV4. This is a RAV4 in all wheel drive and it's really eye catching. I like it. The RAV4 is actually Toyota's best selling vehicle in their lineup and the RAV4 hybrid is the best selling hybrid in the Toyota lineup. It used to be the Prius, but now with the remodel, maybe it's going to be the Prius again. And this is the XSE hybrid. And here we go. Here's our Toyota Mirai. If you're a Toyota fan, you may be familiar with the Toyota Mirai. It's Toyota's hydrogen fuel cell vehicle. And the styling is just really, really beautiful. It's so sleek. It's a sedan that is only sold in California, Hawaii, and in many other countries. Here is the Toyota Venza. That is an all-wheel drive only, hybrid only vehicle. And... Next up is the Sienna, which is also a hybrid only vehicle. The Sienna is manufactured in Princeton, Indiana. And it looks really good. We had a big remodel for that. And I wanna say 2021, we saw that. Okay, here is the chassis 
for the new Toyota Tundra. This is the hybrid chassis. I mean, how cool that Toyota put this out here. Do you guys like that? Look at that hybrid battery located underneath the second row of seats. We've got this really cool drivetrain. Oh my gosh. Motor, transmission, 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 engine. What is your pick between the four cylinder Honda Civic and Toyota Corolla? Ooh, that's a tough choice. They both have such unique personalities. I would say if you're looking for something a little more sporty and fun, maybe the Honda Civic, but the Corolla is the best selling vehicle of all time. So Toyota's reliability and dependability and safety features and connectivity are just really, I think, unrivaled. Okay, check this out. This is the Toyota BZ4X. It is Toyota's first mass produced battery electric vehicle. This is pretty cool that this is here because if you know, this was removed from the Toyota lineup very shortly after it was released uh, because they were having some recalls and some issues. So, oh good, looking forward to being there tomorrow. Awesome, I'm giving you a little sneak peek then. That's the BZ4X. Now, it's inspired by the Toyota BZ4X. That stands for Beyond Zero. The size category is four and X is for crossover. Now check this out. This is a new member of the BZ family. This is the BZ compact SUV concept. Okay, so this is really cool, really futuristic looking. A little boxy, a little thick on the back end. She's got some, uh, some uh, big thighs back there, but cool angles, very futuristic. This is a concept, but I'm hoping that Toyota will decide to manufacture it. This will be in addition to the BZ4X, so it's expanding the BZ or Beyond Zero family. I have not seen the Genesis G70 electric model yet. I have not over there, but hopefully I'll check it out tomorrow. This is Corolla Cross. It's a compact SUV. There's also a Corolla Cross hybrid, but that's not here at the show. And we've got the Highlander. This gimbal is going crazy. Hi, how are you? Thank you for watching. So that is our nice Highlander, also manufactured in Houston, Indiana. Okay, the Toyota Crown, yeah. Gosh, I think it was 1957. And uh, Toyota sold it for many years, then decided to stop manufacturing it in the 70s, brought it back. I have a Motor City Maggie video on the Crown if you'd like to check it out. This is the fully loaded hybrid max. So this is the performance hybrid with 340 horsepower. It looks good, right? It sits up four inches higher than the Camry. So it's a, it's an, it's a, you know, kind of a, an inspired SUV stance, but it is a sedan, even though it does have a fastback coupe design, but no, it's a, it's a full trunk back there. It's a really, really beautiful vehicle it comes out soon okay look at this this is the 40th anniversary toyota 4runner i really like this i like the bronze wheels i like this stripe this heritage stripe across the back of it when will we see a new 4runner come on toyota we are ready for it you're ready for the new 4runner we need some new updated led taillights here but yeah, that's the 40th anniversary. Here we go, look at this. This is the Solar Octane TRD Pro 4Runner. Woo, look at that color. This is the exclusive color for 2022 for the TRD Pro Series. TRD stands for Toyota Racing Development. And over here, we have the TRD Pro Sequoia. Ooh, I like those TRD wheels the Toyota Heritage stamp on the front grille. We have a hybrid only engine powertrain with the Toyota Sequoia. It is a hybrid only vehicle, which is great because it has more horsepower, more torque, more towing capacity, more 
miles per gallon than the previous generation of the Sequoia. All right, the Toyota Crown is your favorite car. Oh, I love it, it's beautiful. All right, look at this. We have the Toyota Tundra built here, lives here. That's right, it is designed, engineered, and manufactured in the United States, the same as the Sequoia. Both the Tundra and the Sequoia are manufactured in San Antonio, Texas. Oh, I've got requests for the BMW X1. You know what, BMW is not here. They are not at the Los Angeles Auto Show. Neither is Mercedes or Audi. And then here we go, this is the Platinum Sequoia. Oh, that's so nice. Let me show you the inside. So beautiful. I have a full Motor City Maggie walk around on the Sequoia and on the Tundra. So check that out on my channel. All right, let's see what else is here. Oh, this is nice. This is the Sequoia Capstone. What is my favorite car? That's a hard question. Right now, today, I would say that it's the new Prius. That's my new favorite car because it looks good. And I also used to have a Prius. I had a 2017 Prius. I loved it. It was great. It was good to me. It was my little rocket ship. So now I'm inspired by the uh, 2023 model. Okay, this is the Capstone. I really like this Sequoia Capstone. It's got this walnut wood grain on the interior really beautiful leather grade aniline uh lexit from lexus it is two-tone this black and white is really nice this 14 inch touchscreen display is really impressive let me open up there you go you got tons of space back here and then you also have the third row of seating that's down flat right now Thank you so much everyone for your likes and comments. I really appreciate it. I'm glad that you can join me on this little journey. Here is another Toyota Tundra. This is the iForce Max. So the iForce Max is the hybrid powertrain. Woo, look at that beefy stance. Hello, that looks good, huh? All right, let's go around here. Let's see what we see with the Tacomas. All right, that's a beautiful red color. Hello. Okay, wait till I show you guys the SEMA concept vehicles. These are wild, okay? Hiring Our Heroes, that's a great program that Toyota has to help veterans get employed. Really great. And we've got the Tacoma TRD Pro. Toyota does cool things at the auto shows like puts things on top of the vehicles, puts things in the bed. I did see the new Chevy Trax and I'm actually going to do a video on it, uh, Motor City Maggie. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Okay, now <laughs> you are all going to be mind blown with these SEMA vehicles. Check this out. This is the Trail Hunter Tundra. When I tell you it's massive, I, <laughs> I mean, I can't even, begin to explain how large this is. I've never seen a Tundra this big. It is raised, it is sitting up so high. It is just wild. It is really, really big. So Trail Hunter, it was for SEMA. And let's see if I can show you the specs here in case you're interested. All right, so it's the Trail Hunter. And yeah, it is gosh really ready for adventure it has skid plate roof rack bumpers lighting refrigerator rooftop tent and more oh man it's whew, it's pretty wild so that's the trail hunter let's get a closer look at the badge and this wrap here and it has these bronze toyota wheels yeah Okay. Oh, you know what? This is really neat. Let me show you guys this. Thank you. Thank you for the compliment. Oh, he said I'm a good YouTuber. That's so nice. I appreciate that. I, you know, I do this all by myself. Sometimes I have somebody hold my camera for me, but I do all the editing and I, you know, do all the concept design and everything myself. So I really appreciate all of your support. Thank you. Uh, look at this. This is really unique. I like that map of the world and let's go back to this okay i really am enjoying this toyota from this is a old toyota land cruiser body that was modified 
for SEMA and it looks so cool. What? This looks so awesome. I love that. And they painted it to kind of make it look even more rusty and old, but it looks awesome. All right. And then we've got one more from SEMA over here. Patriot Games SEMA Modified Land Cruiser. Wow. Wild. Oh, there's another one. Look at that. Patriot Games. Very, very cool. Was anybody at SEMA? Look, this one has a snorkel. I think snorkels are so awesome. Very cool. Yeah. Love that. All right. So let's see what else is here. This is the Toyota live stage. So once an hour, every hour, they're going to have a fun game show and Toyota presentation on this stage. So that's really fun. If you come down to the LA auto show, make sure you catch that. And here's another view of the Patriot camper truck. Wow. 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 Okay. Now we're in the racing zone. Ooh, okay. Here we go. Look at these beautiful red Toyota 86s. Hello. Oh, and then we got a Supra in the back. So we've got two red Toyota 86s, a nice Supra back there, but this is a cherry red that looks so good in person. And the 86 is such a great entry level little sports car. You know, it has such a good starting price. It starts at like $29,000 and it's really fun to drive. Boxer engine, fast, aerodynamic. It's fun. All right. So here is a new paint color on the Supra and I love it. It is so pretty. I'm going to have to get around these gentlemen, excuse me. And I forget the name of the color. So I'm going to look it up, but it is so pretty. Bear with me. It is called see you later, gray. See you later, gray. Great paint. Yeah. Look at that. Look at the way the light reflects on it. It's almost like a yellow bronze. Oh, so pretty. Hi, Supra. Okay. We've got a GR Corolla SEMA concept right here. Nice. And then we've got a production GR Corolla here. These are hard to get your hands on. Let me tell you. And then a cool accessory wall Toyota's showing off here. All right. And then this is neat. This is a Toyota mo mobility section. Now, Toyota has a big focus on mobility. Toyota is making a move from being not just a car company, but a mobility company. And their focus is mobility for all. So this is really fun. This is the Toyota iRoad. It is a electric vehicle with three wheels, two in the front, one in the back. It articulates, it steers with the rear wheel. I've actually gotten to drive it. It's really fun to drive. It leans into turns. And then this is the LQ. Now the Toyota LQ is really fun and futuristic. We had this at CES several years ago. I did a review on it. Uh, that's on my Motor City Maggie page as well. It's very cool. It has something called UE inside, which is like your virtual assistant. And then we have these battery electric mobility vehicles as well, which is really cool. All right, so moving on, since I am on this side of the display, I just want to show you guys how wild this is at the LA Auto Show this year for Toyota. Toyota has decided to have a whole giant sports festival. This is so crazy. This is going to be so crowded during the auto show. So, Toyota is the mobility partner for the Olympics. And we have this partnership that Toyota said, you know, hey, like we've got this partnership and, uh, you know, we've got it. We've got it all, all ready to go with the Olympics and the Paralympics. So they're going to bring it here to the LA Auto Show. So look at this. We've got curling. So attendees can do this. This is going to be so fun. There's a, some sort of figure skating activity. There's a sled hockey activity. That is such a cool sport. Um, there's something to do with skateboarding. Um, 
yeah they even have wheelchairs and other activity i mean it's just gonna be so fun so they also have skiing and they have this ramp that you can go skiing on with this video it's really crazy you're just gonna have to see it in action and then they have biking and basketball a whole basketball court so this is just gonna be so fun for everybody who comes to the auto show oh even a track and field area so make sure if you have kids or if you are athletic and you just want to try all this out come on down to the la auto show and go to the toyota display and experience the sports arena sports festival they're calling it they also have driving simulators awesome hi mike's vlogs awesome okay so in the back we have our toyota camrys hello camrys and the corolla yeah toyota's really into these bronze wheels right now hi i mean we're seeing a lot of these bronze wheels here is another camry race car and i think that's a camry trd nascar let's see yeah this is camry cool so if you're a nascar fan we've got a whole nascar section for you too so there's the camry and there is the supra all right here's another camry built in kentucky the best-selling car in america for i think 20 years now pretty wild here's a sema concept supra and production supra and then one more sema concept supra oh these are really cool wheels nice so i think that just about does it for my live Let's bring that camera down here. What did you guys think? Did you like my walkthrough of the Toyota display? Ooh, I am exhausted to be honest. It has been such a long day here at the Los Angeles Auto Show for day one of media, day one of press, and tomorrow is the first day of the public show. So I have a lot of footage to edit and get ready to release to all of you. I am releasing a Toyota Prius, a Toyota Prius Prime, and a Chevy Trax video. So thank you so much. I really appreciate your support. Thank you for watching. Make sure you leave me a like and a comment, and I will see you next time around, next time I do a live. And anytime, connect with me on Instagram, connect with me on on YouTube, on TikTok. I'm there, okay? At Motor City Maggie or at Maggie Clark on camera. Thanks so much and enjoy the rest of your day. Motor on. Bye. Mwah.